Happy Sunday Fun Day, everybody. X Man 1991 back again with another sports topic. We got some basketball to talk about. Hope you guys had a good one hour sleep. Hope you guys didn't forget to set your clock back for one hour because we had daylight savings last night. So now we go. So now it's going to start getting dark after six. But I like it better when it starts getting dark after eight instead of after six. But it's not going to start getting dark after eight until March. But I hope you guys did have a one hour, good uh, extra one hour sleep. I know I did while I was watching Tsunami last night. This video ran a sponsorship by one of my favorites, Brisk Half and Half Iced Tea Slash Lemonade. I gotta drink this to keep my anger in check. So before I get started doing a recap of my top three NBA teams, I'm gonna give you a quick recap of the first half of today's game between the Houston Texans and the Miami Dolphins. Texans didn't score shit in the first quarter while giving up a touchdown. Then they gave up 10 touchdowns in the second quarter, 10 to six. At halftime, Dolphins 17, Texans six. It's down to the fourth quarter. Both teams are now one and seven, by the way. Which team will fall one and eight? Full recap of the game is coming tomorrow. But until then, let's go ahead and do a recap of yesterday afternoon's game between the Houston Rockets and the Denver Chicken Nuggets. The Rockets outscored the Nuggets in the first quarter by a point, 27 to 26. Both teams scored 20 points apiece in the second quarter. At halftime, Rockets 47, Nuggets 46. Rockets lost the third quarter by Deuce, 26 to 24. After three, Nuggets 72, Rockets 71. Both teams scored 23 points apiece in the fourth quarter. But it was a heartbreaking loss for the Rockets as they lose eight games in a row in a seven-game losing streak, falling to the Nuggets 95-94. to As for the Nuggets, they are now 5-4. and four. Tonight, the Rockets are in San Francisco to go up against the Warriors. Before they come back home on Wednesday to take on the Pistons. Friday, they take on the Trailblazers. Next Sunday, they take on the Suns. Next Monday, against the Grizzlies. Next Wednesday, against the Warriors. Next Saturday, against the Knicks. The 22nd, against the Celtics. November 24th, against the Bulls. Or taking on the Bulls. Nikolai Joke. Nikolai Joke. 28 points, 14 rebounds, 2 assists. Will Barton, 15 points, 7 rebounds, 6 assists. Monte Morris, 9 points, 1 rebound, 1 assist. Aaron Gordon, 9 points, 3 rebounds, 2 assists. And Michael Porter Jr. Two points, four rebounds, no assists. For the bench, they get 32 points. P.J. Bo 
P.J. Dozier, six points, four rebounds, four assists. Jeff Green, three point, eight points, three rebounds, one assist. Facundo Capazzo, eight points, two rebounds, two assists. Nashawn Highland, two points, one rebound, no assists. Jamical Green, eight points, four rebounds, one assist. And former Houston Rocket Austin Rivers, the son of Doc Rivers, no points, two rebounds, no assists. Daniel Theus, 18 points, five rebounds, no assists. Christian Wood, 12 points, 17 rebounds, two assists. Jay Sean Tate, 10 points, eight rebounds, one assist. Jalen Green, nine points, two rebounds, two assists. And Kevin Porter Jr., six points, three rebounds, four assists. For the bench, they get 49 points. Eric Gordon, 12 points, four rebounds, three assists. Kenyon Martin Jr., 11 points, one rebound, one assist. Alperin Sengun, nine points, four rebounds, three assists. DJ Augustin, five points, one rebound, three assists. David Nawaba, two points, two rebounds, no assists. And Armani Brooks, no points, no rebounds, no assists. Nikolai Joke was the player of the game with 28 points, 14 rebounds, and two assists. I believe he need like two or three assists to go with a triple-double. I'm going to give my two cents about this game in a moment, but first, we got two more games to do a recap on, and I'm going to give my two cents on all the games at the same time. Now we're going to do a recap of last night's game between the LA Lakers and the Portland Trailblazers. The Lakers' second game without the presence of LeBron James. Lakers lost by 22 points in the first quarter, 36 to 14. But they made a comeback in the second quarter, outscoring the Trailblazers 22 to 15. At halftime, Trailblazers 51, Lakers 36. Lakers gave up 42 points in the third quarter while scoring 26. After three, Trailblazers 93, Lakers 62. Lakers made a comeback outscoring the Trailblazers in the fourth quarter, 28 to 12. But it was not enough as they would fall to the Portland Trailblazers by 15 points, 105 to 90. Both teams are now five and five. Lakers take on the Hornets at the crib tomorrow night before they take on the Heat on Wednesday. They take on the T-Wolves on Friday. They take on the Spurs next Sunday. They take on the Bulls next Monday. They go against the defending champs, the Bucks, next Wednesday. Next Friday against the Celtics. The 21st against the Pistons, the 23rd against the Knicks, the 24th against the Pacers, 
Black Friday, the 26th, taking on the Kings. Damian Lillard, 25 points, 3 rebounds, 6 assists. Jusuf Nurkic, 15 points, 17 rebounds, 1 assist. Norman Powell, 13 points, 2 rebounds, 2 assists. Robert Copington, 12 points, 4 rebounds, 2 assists. And CJ McCollum, 7 points, 5 rebounds, 5 assists. For the bench, they get 33 points. A Fernie Simmons, 10 points, 5 rebounds, 4 assists. Larry Nance Jr., 4 points, 4 rebounds, 1 assist. Nasir Little, 8 points, 5 rebounds, no assist. Dennis Smith Jr., th no points, 3 rebounds, no assist. Cody Zeller, 6 points, 3 rebounds, no assist. Tony Snell, no points, no rebounds, 1 assist. Greg Brown, two points, one rebound, no assists. CJ Ellaby, no points, no rebounds, no assists. And former Houston Rocket Ben Malclamore, three points, no rebounds, no assists. Hmm. The Lakers, the players that played on the floor didn't score enough points. They all scored points between two and eight. Didn't make it to 10 points. Russell Westbrook, eight points, nine rebounds, six assists. DeAndre Jordan, six points, nine rebounds, no assists. Avery Bradley, Four points, three rebounds, three assists. Ken Bazemore, four points, three rebounds, one assist. And Anthony Davis, two points, three rebounds, no assists. Despite that the Lakers lost, their bench gets 66 points. Surprising that the bench got more points than the Trailblazers bench. Yes, the Lakers bench gets 66 points. Carmelo, 12 points, 2 rebounds, 1 assist. Wayne Ellington, 8 points, 4 rebounds, no assists. Austin Reeves, 10 points, 6 rebounds, 3 assists. Malik Monk, 13 points, 4 rebounds, 3 assists. Dwight Howard, 11 points, 7 rebounds, no assists. Rajon Rondo, 2 points, 3 rebounds, 2 assists. Sekiu Dumboya. 10 points, 4 rebounds, no assists. And Jay Huff, no points, 2 rebounds, 1 assist. Now it's time to do a recap of one more game. Last night's game between the Utah Jazz and the Miami Heat.
The Heat outscored the Jazz by Tress in the first quarter, 27 to 24. Both teams scored 28 points apiece in the second quarter. At halftime, Heat 55, Jazz 52. Heat outscored the Jazz by four points in the third quarter, 32 to 26. After three, Heat 87, Jazz 78. Heat lost by six points in the fourth quarter, 37 to 31. Final score, Miami Heat 118, Utah Jazz 115. Both teams are now seven and two. Jimmy Butler, 27 points, three rebounds, six assists. Kyle Lowry, 20 points, 12 rebounds, 10 assists. Bam Aid Bayo, 17 points, six rebounds, six assists. P.J. Tucker, 6 points, 3 rebounds, 1 assist. And Duncan Robinson, 3 points, 2 rebounds, 1 assist. For the bench, they get 45 points. Tyler Hero, 29 points, 2 rebounds, 3 assists. Markeith Morris, 4 points, 3 rebounds, 3 assists. Caleb Martin, 9 points, 4 rebounds, no assists. And Dwayne Dedman, 3 points, 1 rebound, no assists. Donovan Mitchell, 37 points, no rebounds, 7 assists. Mike Colney, 18 points, 3 rebounds, 7 assists. Bojan Bogdanovic, Donovich, 16 points, 5 rebounds, 4 assists. Royce O'Neal, 15 points, 5 rebounds, 2 assists. And Rudy Goldberg, 8 points, 8 rebounds, no assists. For the bench, they get 21 points. Joe Ingles. Three points, one rebound, five assists. Hassan Whiteside, six points, eight rebounds, one assist. Jordan Clarkson, seven points, no rebounds, no assists. And Eric Partial, five points, one rebound, no assists. The player of the game was not Jimmy Butler. It was Tyler Hero with 29 points, two rebounds, and three assists. Tomorrow night, the Heat head to Denver to go against the Chicken Nuggets before they head to the Staples Center in LA this Wednesday to go against the Lakers. As a matter of fact, on Wednesday and Thursday, they go against two teams at the Staples Center in L.A., the Lakers and the Clippers. Saturday the 13th against the Jazz, round two between the Jazz and the Heat. Next Monday against the Thunder, next Wednesday against the taking on the Pelicans, next Thursday taking on the Wizards, the 20th against the Wizards, 
the 23rd against the Pistons, the 24th against the Timberwolves, the 27th taking on the Bulls or going against the Bulls. I want to talk about the Rockets game first. The Rockets, I was hoping that they would finally break their seven-game losing streak. But I gotta give I gotta give the Nuggets credit because they definitely came to play. They did good yesterday. Both of these teams were going back and forth. I was hoping that the refs would call a foul when Eric Gordon made that layup, but there was no foul call. I'm like, where the hell was the foul call? And they go let the Nuggets take the W on this one. Damn. That was definitely heartbroken for the Rockets, but I give the Rockets props for trying, and I give the Nuggets props because they beat us yesterday. So Rockets just, I don't know. The Rockets may lose to, against the Warriors tonight. I don't know. this. They may lose eight in a row. They have not won one game since they beat the Oklahoma City Thunder. That's all right. Just keep, just keep your heads up, Rockets, and get yourselves ready for tonight as y'all head to San Francisco to go against the Warriors. As the Lakers, I didn't get a chance to watch their game last night because I was live streaming on, I was on Instagram live playing SSX Tricky. But it was a tough loss for the Lakers, their second loss of the season without the presence of LeBron. But I give the Trailblazers their props because they definitely came to play. Just keep your heads up, Lakers, and get yourselves ready for tomorrow night. As y'all take on the Hornets at the crib before y'all take on the Heat on Wednesday. As for the Heat, I definitely congratulate them for winning last night. After they lost to the Boston Celtics on Thursday, they definitely did a good job. I only watched a little bit of the Heat game. Last night before I did my finale of my last play of Rayman to the Great Escape. So congratulations to the Heat. You guys did a good job. And I was watching the Texas Longhorns and the Iowa State Cyclones game last night as well. But congratulations to the Miami Heat. Just as for the Lakers and Rockets, they just need to get it together. I don't know. The Rockets may lose their eighth game in a row against the Warriors. <sighs> but that's going to wrap up. I know this video is too long, but that's going to wrap up my thoughts about last night's games between the Utah Jazz and the Miami Heat, the LA Lakers and the Portland Trailblazers, and the Rockets against the Denver Chicken Nuggets. If you're new here, hit subscribe if you like the content and hit that notification bell for my next Rockets, Lakers, and Heat rant. Give this video a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Leave your comment down below. And I'll catch you tomorrow for two recaps of two games. Last night's college football game between the Texas Longhorns and the Iowa State Cyclones. And today's game between the Houston Texans and the Miami Dolphins. Don't follow your dreams. Chase them. Peace. Go Miami Heat. You will see me with two Miami Heat shirts soon. As soon as I find them at the mall or something. Go Los Angeles Lakers. And go Houston Rockets.